guys! Welcome back to my channel. I'm Sonnet, the owner and creator behind Sonnet's Garden Blooms. Now in today's video, we are kicking off the 25 days of thriftmas. And you may ask, what is the 25 days of thriftmas? Last year I did the 12 days of DIYs, so I took you along for the first 12 days of December and we did a bunch of DIYs. This year we're doing 25 full days and we are starting today. So this is the official kickoff video. And for the next 25 days, I'm gonna bring you along um, for what I call thriftness. So stick around till the very end because I do have a fun little something something that will be part of the 25 days, just like we did last year. So uh, over the next 25 days, what you're really going to find is I'm going to take you along each day. You're going to really participate in my life. So all the things that I do to get ready for Christmas, um, but all in a thrifty kind of way. And um, I have some, so really you're going to see like a lot of de decor, decorating. Um, I'll still bring you thrifting because I still do that over the holidays. I will continue to do my flips. I'm going to give you tours of different areas of my home. Um, you'll definitely get a tour of my studio because we are going to get this place cleaned up. And I am going to be doing the big reveal during the whole 25 days. Um, so yes, we're just going to have a lot of fun. Um, but really to give you an idea why I chose the 25 days of thriftmas is I grew up thrifting, being thrifty, uh, just really trying to reuse, recycle. My ultimate goal in life is to try to keep as many things out of the landfill as possible. I just find that so many people buy things and get rid of them so quickly and we can always take those items and reuse them, repurpose them, recycle. And there's always more life in all the those amazing things that I find on the curb. Even while I'm thrifting, you know, at a local thrift store or Goodwill um, or at an estate sale, there's just so much life in things that I'm going to show you how I incorporate it all into my own life. Like I said, I love to go thrifting and I think I love thrifting so much because of the thrill of the hunt. And on a typical day when I do hit up a local Goodwill, I get extremely excited about what is behind those doors. And I love digging and picking and just seeing what items that I can find in there and really transform them into something amazing or just reuse um, in my decor, uh, like these beautiful glass containers. I also found many of these plates. So these are just, this is like a typical day in my life. And I am gonna bring you along and show you how I incorporate this in my own home decor. I wanted to just give you a clip. If you are new here, that really is like a day in my life where I love going thrifting. I do get really excited when I enter a thrift store or like the local Goodwill or an estate sale. And I just can't wait to see what I can find. And it just draws so much creativity in me. Like I just feel like I go there and the doors open wide. Um, and I get so many ideas and the creativity just starts a flowing. So if you are new here, I'm so excited that you are joining me for the 25 days of Thriftmas. If you aren't and you've been following along for a while, you know that that really is my life and how much I love it. Um, so I hope that you all do join me for the next 25 days and each day is going to be a little different. Um, it is going to be more of like a vlogging type of format just because from last year I tackled some huge projects uh, like from redoing my buffet to building um, my mantle. Uh, we're going to do more fun decorating and um, thrifting and flipping and just uh, not that it wasn't fun last year. It was just a lot to do in a day for me. So um, now upcoming next, this is the part that you guys are going to absolutely love. 
So because I appreciate all of you so much, um, you have helped me grow my channel just leaps and bounds. Like I never thought a year ago, like last December, I was trying to hit 10K and now I'm over 20K and I just appreciate all of you viewers out there. So I am doing an, an like a uh, customer appreciation. So I am kicking off a few of my favorite things, customer appreciation challenge. So if you want to be part of this challenge, then there are just a few things that you need to do. Obviously watch the video, uh, comment, like, and share each of the 25 videos. And by doing that, you'll be entered 25 individual times. And then next I am going to show you what you can get for being part of the challenge. The reason I called this a few of my favorite things customer appreciation challenge is because these are all of my favorite items or things. So have you always wanted to try a paint inlay, but you've been too afraid? Well, this is going to be your opportunity. I've included my favorite paint inlay called Chateau from IOD, a uh, 32 ounce DIY paint of vintage linen, and to seal your entire project, DIY's Big Top. For item two, this is going to be nine different decoupage papers from Roy Cycled. And I went and I picked out some of my favorites and you can see right on top guys, the owl, that is one of my favorites, so colorful. Um, but I included a Christmas, which is the Santas. And then you're gonna see butterflies and the trucks. Uh, last night, on my live I used the industrial master board um, the lambs and the sepia so you can see there is a wide range and then the liquid patina to help you with your project for item three you guys know how much I love color so this was a hard one but I picked out my top five favorite colors from DIY and they were a little seasonal. So I um, picked out Summer Crush, which was my very favorite fall color, Marquee, which is awesome for the holidays, Vintage Linen. I also popped in a clear wax, big top so you can seal your projects, Apothecary and Little Black Dress. So you can complete a wide range of fun projects with all of these different DIY colors. For number four, I always talk about my favorite stamp sets from IOD. So I have included the typesetting stamp set and letterpress. And by far, these two are my favorite letter stamp sets. You also get some backing so you can cut them to the perfect size and then an ink pad and then black ink so you can stamp away to your heart's content. And last but not least, these have not even been uh, released yet. Uh, it is the Roy Cycled Decoupage Papers, the spring release. And this is coming very soon. And you will all, or well, whoever gets um, their name picked will receive one sheet of each of the new papers. And I know you guys are gonna be super excited for this one because when I saw those papers, let me tell you, I was as well. I hope you'll all be joining me for the next 25 days of Thriftmas. And to let you know, on December 26, I will be picking five names. Um, so if you've been part of the challenge for the last 25 days, on the 26th, I will be going live and I will be picking five names. Uh, and I will go live on Facebook to pick the names. I will also um, include it in a video um, in case you are not on Facebook. But basically to enter into the challenge, all you need to do, like I said, is watch the video, go ahead and like the video, 
comment on the video and share the video. And by doing that, you will be you can be entered then 25 separate times. I am looking forward to bringing you along for the next 25 days of Thriftmas. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I was going to do something to really kick it off, but I wanted to kind of explain it, um, kind of tell you like why I chose Thriftmas because of how much I love being thrifty and thrifting. Um, but yes, if you haven't already done so and you like my channel, go ahead, hit that subscribe button, turn on that bell notification. So when I do upload a video, which is typically every Monday and Friday, you'll be notified. Now it's going to be like the next 25 days. You are going to get notification every time I upload that video. And if you haven't done so already, go ahead, follow me on my other socials. So over on Facebook, I do go live every Monday and Wednesday at six o'clock central time. And I will be going live on Friday, uh, which is tomorrow. We are going to do a bit of like an eggnog crafting evening together. So if you want to join me over there tomorrow night for that, I'd love it. Um, but then other than that, I have been putting out a ton more content over on all my other socials. So I hope you can join me over there as well. Uh, I will be seeing you guys tomorrow and you guys have a wonderful evening. Bye.